Hi, Andrew here, and today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium chromate. In order to do this, I've created a nice little table to help us out. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the elements I see. So we got potassium, we got chromium, and we got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of potassium, there's a two, so that means we got two atoms. Chromium, there's only one. So we got a one. And oxygen, there's gonna be four. So we simply take those numbers and then we're going to multiply it by the mass of each particular element. The mass are found here on the table. All right. So potassium is 39.10, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So let's write them on in. All right. So 39, 39.10, 52, and then 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, we're simply going to multiply this row on a cross. So that's going to be 78.20 for potassium, chromium 52.00, nice and easy. And then the, for oxygen, it's going to be 64, right? And then all we got to simply do to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're really interested in, we're going to simply just add those on together. And the total mass is going to be 194.20. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in terms of grams per mole. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of potassium chromate. Thanks for tuning in. Check out some more of our videos. And if this helped you out at all, like and subscribe helps us out tremendously. Thank you very much.